Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Pray Persona 3 Portable. I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, it's a full moon that hasn't automatically gone into a sequence. So, I'm just going to do this. See what happens. My suspicion is something is about to happen with Igus or RJ or both. But we'll see. Might give me a chance to use my new personas. I've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Well, to answer your question, I ended up here when I came to my senses. It's strange. The sky and the ground look so weird. And there's no one here. Hmm. There's also the blood coming off the, uh, off the pillars there. Something terrible has happened here, and yet I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? Forgotten what? The dark hour. A time period few people are active during. But you, you've somehow adapted to it. Too well for a human, in fact. Yes, it's all so clear. Now, I understand the reason behind this feeling I sense when you're around. You are not good. You are... my enemy. So she thinks he's a shadow. Your enemy? Enemy? That's right. On a night like tonight, the moon was full. It was long ago. Yes. We met once before, as adversaries. Who... who am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last remaining anti-shadow emergency control weapon. A machine created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy shadows? I don't think she should destroy RJ when he hasn't done anything to her yet. And you, your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. <sighs> yeah, but he doesn't... Yes, it was ten years ago. He doesn't really... He, he hasn't done anything yet. The night I was born into this world, I set foot on this very bridge. The sole purpose of my existence is to destroy shadows. It is for that reason that I was given a personality and a persona. I am the 13th Arcana. I was never meant to be. Everyone called me Death. But when I was born, a part of my power shattered and was strewn about. As a result, I was incomplete. Even so, you were far stronger than I anticipated. Since I could not defeat you, my only option was to seal you away. Under the circumstances, there was only one suitable vessel. A human boy who happened to be nearby. I had no other choice. Adam. I see. I was inside him all this time. And I unwittingly led him to my twelve missing pieces. And then... I see. I understand now. I don't fully understand, so if you could explain it more... I remember everything. Who and what I am. A machine is created for a purpose. Mine is to defeat you. That is the purpose of my existence. It doesn't have to be that way. I guess. Palladian! Don't be foolish, I guess. I'm different than before. There's no way you can win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This mission appears impossible. A machine that cannot fulfill its purpose has no worth. 
You're not just a machine. I'm sorry, everyone. Adam, son. I'm scared. Juno! Wait, did something happen? Yukari, is something wrong? Well, it's a full moon tonight. You noticed it too, didn't you, Senpai? Jeez, oh, I'm starting to feel like a workaholic. <sighs> oh no, did something? We don't know anything for sure. However, we can't find Igis. Huh. Where would she have gone? I sensed a persona, but it quickly disappeared. And soon after that, I couldn't detect Igis's presence. Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't sensed any of their members, but we can't be positive. I've confirmed Igis's location. She's on the Moonlight Bridge. All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on there. I'm sorry. I... I... Remember everything. Who I am. Who he is. I don't sound... I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. But... I mean, I can't be both... RJ and myself. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I know it would be bad to say it's going to be okay, but I really want to know what happened. I'm sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji kun Wait, what are you doing here? I guess. What's going on? It's all my fault. What? You did this? Akihiko, wait. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Tell us, who are you? What are you? I'm the same as the beings you call shadows. You're a shadow? I'm the embodiment of all shadows. The Apprizer, born from the union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The frightening truth about myself and shadows, it's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about shadows? I do. What? The shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. The maternal being will begin to awaken as she is drawn to me. The Apprizer. You. You're the Apprizer? That's right. What is this maternal being? She is a great entity. There is no comparable word in your language for her. Ten years ago, a man collected a great number of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke in an incomplete state. Not long after, I fell to Igis, as she did to me. Igis? Is that true, Ryoji? She knew she could not defeat me, so in an act of desperation, she sealed me within a child who happened to be standing nearby. That child grew up, carrying me inside him. And by a twist of fate, he later returned here as a transfer student. You mean... Yeah. Yes. But wouldn't... But w w why are you now in... in why, why are you now RJ then? I... I lived inside him. Inside him? His special persona awakened, as did the Twelve Shadows, all in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the appraiser? A and you were inside him? None of this makes sense! It's all my fault. I'm sorry. There's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He appears to be exhausted. Let's let him rest. We have Igis to attend to as well. We'll continue our talk later. Is there uh, anyone who wasn't RJ? He 
He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Okay. All right then. I'll see you later. Damn that Ryoji. Well, at least we haven't had to defeat him. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm glad I haven't had to fight Shadow so far. <sighs> Is everyone present? Are you okay, Ryoji-kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. I, I really don't think it's your fault, RJ. You didn't know about this. You didn't know what you were doing. Besides, there's more I have to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. There are many questions we need answered. To begin with, you said shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Please elaborate on this. The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death to this world. If she is awakened, darkness will once again cover the land and all life will vanish. All life will vanish? Are you saying everyone will die? It would be more accurate to say that everyone will forfeit the will to live. Uh, are you talking about the lost? fall but it's still possible to keep it from happening right what there's no way to prevent it i'm sorry wait what are you apologizing for are you saying it's for certain yes you heard the bell i'm the appraiser the appraiser of death my existence is the affirmation of the fall the affirmation of the fall I don't think so. I'm I'm sorry, but I refuse to give up. When? When will it happen? I'm afraid you will not live to see spring. But that's not too far away. <sighs> <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? All we have to do is defeat this Nyx. And that won't be a problem, because we've never lost. Defeating Nyx is... Impossible. It has nothing to do with strength, ability, or power. Just as all living things die, and the flow of time is continuous, Nyx cannot be defeated. Yeah, but all living things give birth to other living things. What? That's bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form. So I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. All gifts I received because I was inside him. So, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's coming cannot be avoided, but it is possible to live in peace until she arrives. You'll have to kill me. If I were to disappear, all memories of the Dark Hour would disappear with me, as would any recollection of the fate that awaits you. You won't remember anything. The coming of the Fall will be instantaneous, and you will not suffer. Yeah, well, I still don't believe that the fall is inevitable. We'll forget everything? You'll be able to return to your normal lives, and in doing so, the time until the fall will be slightly delayed. In essence, I am the same as Nyx and cannot be, but thanks to him, there's a part of me that's human. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that last word. So if death comes from his hands, I think it may be possible. Ryoji-kun. If you don't kill me, you will suffer more than you could ever imagine. With no hope for salvation, you will live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I... I don't want you to have to endure such pain. I don't want my memories to be erased. To forget everything would be like hiding from the truth. Would that really be such a bad thing? All that awaits you now is despair. You don't know the terror of absolute death. Please, don't make your decision without at least thinking about what I've said. <sighs> Why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. You have until December 31st, New Year's Eve, to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the Dark Hour and become intangible. Ryoji? I will disappear with the coming of Nyx anyways, so don't worry about me. I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Hey, Ryoji, wait!
Ryoji-kun. We will see him again on New Year's Eve. Honestly, I really hope that the end isn't inevitable, because this is kind of disappointing uh, way to end the game, really, isn't it? A long time before the game's over, um, it's already inevitable that you won't win. I don't like that. That's right. What? Oh, yeah, we've already had this. There's some people saying that apathy syndrome is nothing to worry about. That's the same thing. It puts people at ease, right? Yeah, it certainly does for me. You think it's some new religion? What, are you two taking this seriously? Of course not. I mean, what would be the point in us doing any stuff if, um, if we're all going to die inevitably anyway? Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you if this place is closed. No, it's not. Okay. It's been a while since I talked to them. Oh, you're back. My bad. Good night, it's night. Just a bean dream or something. No, probably not, huh? I will admit, while I don't think us losing all of our memories is a good thing, I think it might have been a good thing if we hadn't discovered what we discovered last night. Super RJ. Saying the world is going to end out of nowhere. The appraiser? What the hell does that mean, anyway? We should organise the information we already have. Is there anything you would like to know? Or you don't seem to give me a choice, so let's say... Now, now, you know what? There really isn't. Honestly, I'm sorry for skipping through that, but I already know. Everyone just needs some time. I'm all confused, we need more sense of what happened. He said it's impossible. Next is death itself, so we can't avoid it or defeat it. All right, there's evidently, evidently no point in talking to you. You're just going to give me information I don't really need. So I know what. Let's go and get the items that we're going to be able to get from the police station. You're here, take this envelope. That? That's a token of gratitude the missing salary man left with us. You rescued him, right? I don't ask questions, just take it. There's still more. We found that missing woman the other day. I tried questing her, but yeah, we we know this stuff. This is a token of gratitude the lady in question brought us, but these coins look awfully pricey. Kids sure are loaded. Whatever, you guys saved it, so they're yours. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to buy stuff. I think we've already got good, good stuff. Yeah, it's like a sponge, huh? You seem to... Oh, um, yeah, we've already... Well, that...
Did you hear about RJ in class 2F? No, I didn't. What happened to him? His parents got transferred again, so he won't be around anymore. So that's why I didn't see him. Well, that was sudden. Wait a while longer. Even if the tree is gone, you'll still live on inside us. Oh, Adam Chan, you're here. You have just woken me up. Or did you just want to watch me while I was sleeping? <laughs> I feel relieved now, probably because the problem is being solved. Even though it's the middle of the day, I feel so sleepy. I'm deeply touched that you and some and other people tried to help us, Adam Chan. But we sent a letter to Gak. Who? To Gak. I told them to cut the persimmon tree down. Well, wow, you should have seen. Wow, you should have seen your reaction, Adam Chan. It was totally worth it to surprise you like that. Sorry that we did it without asking you. Recently, I went to visit the persimmon tree and I met a student on my way back. He told me that the school was planning to build a new addition. It would be selfish of, of an old man like me to provide those young people with new learning opportunities. Helping those kids is more important than hanging on to his memory. I think it would make our son happy too. He was a teacher after all. We're hoping, as we believe our son is in heaven too, that more kind students like you, Adam Chan, will graduate from that. Please take this as the first fruit produced by the persimmon tree. So that's a rough around the edges, like our son. Mitsuku is the one who suggested we give it to you, Adam Chan. Now we have to cheer up and get on with our lives. We're too old to waste a single day. Our son would want us to be happy. I'm sure he's smiling down on us from heaven. It's difficult having such a well-respected son. Now oh, it seems like I'm boasting. Oh, all right. Well, now oh, it's you. Hales. Never mind. There's no point in asking someone else. No, I'm not really scared. I just can't seem to comprehend all that has happened. I thought I'd go stronger after my father died, but I haven't. You know what? I really do feel like I'm at a loss here, and the, the game's kind of come to a standstill. Uh, so, we are going to go to Tartarus. Um... I wanted to hear Natsuki-chan's voice, I called her. She seems to know there's something wrong, but I just couldn't tell her the world is going to end soon. What should I do? Oh, alright, fine, we can't do that. Well... Ugh. In that case, I'm going to end the episode. I will see you next time.